Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Disgusting. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Well, I think I know what's causing it. Okay. Oh, for fuck. Okay. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. How do you like that gear, Head? What the fuck, dude? How? To do with this. What in the fuck? Playing a fucking game of snake? What the hell is this? Charles, is that the process I just activated? Run. Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? What the? Oh. Well, thank you. You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Come to Papa. Come on. This fucking camera shake is insane. What the fuck? Nope, I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh, damn it. It's through that door. All right, you cocksucker. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Ugh. 
Come on. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed, we are. But Collective was designed to be for Fuck. Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists in Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings. Your robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists wouldn't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. He's not wrong about the capitalist thing. I see. Yo, where the fuck did you all come from? Fuck! Jesus Christ! Get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Come on. Let me go pick up the fucking shit that they had. Here's your other okay, fucking arm. First arm's good. Now the head. Exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelame floor. Structural integrity compromised. Excessive pressure detected. Oh, Excessive bad. pressure. Poor thing. It's crushing her. It's like they dropped a whole building on top of her. Oh, Major, it's just too cruel. It's unbearable. Yeah, okay. I get it. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> you got a bad feeling? Why is it still? Oh, shit. Oh no, 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 no. Jeez. Oh. That smell. 
fuck. They blow up? That one's still glowing, but I think it's a glitch. Quark, quark, one. My God. How the hell do I get through? Why is it acting like there's still something? better. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> okay, is this just back? Yeah, this just goes back out. Alright, alright. Open up. Okay. Bunny in, uh... In the funhouse mirrors, there's a sleeping rhino with notes on his horn. She's laughing at herself. The wolf comes along. Sees himself in the mirror. Sees her laughing. And uh, the funhouse mirror shows him as really skinny. Uh, they're both walking, having fun. She's dying laughing. He's picking his teeth. They look in the mirror one last time and then he cuts off. Um, shit, man. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. Okay. I feel like a bunch of these fucking upgrades are still not available. Increased. I need a magazine for this fucking thing. What do 
I ha I have Oh, I have the muzzle break. Increase the rate of fire, increase damage, aiming speed, aiming speed. There. Don't understand how a handle gives me better of that shit, but I'm gonna upgrade this as much as I can. Thermal scope collimator? Cartridge module. Oh, so I can add shit to it. Fuck yeah. I definitely use it on this. That sure, why not? Uh, I like the chopping blow. Yes. Even a damage wave when attacking. Oh, not enough resources, okay. Cartridge gun? Oh, you can add a cartridge module to the goddamn axe? That's crazy. What is this? Accelerate special attack recharge, increases energy bonus. Okay. Decrease energy expenditure, yes. EM wait, so this is what we have. No, this there. Not enough resources, okay. Uh, we'll put these in here. Those. Take these out. Uh, actually, we'll put those right there. Uh, okay. All right. Let's get let's get back out there. The fuck is that? Ow! What the fuck? Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? It's fucking shit ass. Yo, I thought we needed a head. What's going on here? Don't like that. Well, I get, okay. So we can't go through there. We have to go this way. Just making sure that there's not anything over here. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I had to test it out. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second ah. story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the balloon? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? At the very top. Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. So no head. What the? Yo. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. 
the hell's going on? That did absolutely fucking nothing for me. Ah! Victory! Bitch. with the real beta connectors since collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority everyone in it was supposed to be equal yeah we already talked about that then why they need the beta connectors to secure collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it that's impossible everybody's equal in collective shit the alpha connector indeed intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly, but that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Huh. Um... I sincerely doubt. Caution, danger. Uh, Beluga hanging in the exhibit room is fully equipped and is even working engine. Can you imagine what would happen if someone pressed the wrong button on that thing? Best case scenario, it would knock down walls and I don't even want to think about the worst case scenario. Remove the motor, put up the barriers right away. Okay, well, uh... Let's get up there. So far. So where's the very top? Probably in that fucking direction. Jesus Christ. Oh. Ah, shit. Hell. 
Some weird shit is in P3's <coughs> fucking memory. Gonna make a way over. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, eat dicks. Uh. Fucking bitch. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. Oh shit. Of course. Oh, oh. Fuck. Who built all these goddamn things? <sighs> Alright, what the fuck am I doing here? Holy shit, okay. Oh boy, okay. Fucking just spits out more. It's so annoying. This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Huh. Oh, come on. The glove does have a point. Great, 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 great. Comrade Stockhausen, I took that foreign journalist for the secret tour of the VDNH. He saw everything. You should have seen his eyes bugging out of his head. They're going to be dying of envy when his article comes out. They'll slap more sanctions on us and order an extra bunch of bots. <laughs> Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch, huh? Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch. <sighs> Charles, 
You think Velatova was in cahoots with Petrov because of more than just love, right? What makes you so sure? I should note that Larissa Falatova is an accomplished and talented scientist. She independently completed a project that most of the world's greatest scientific minds could not have accomplished. What's your point? She is far from stupid and would never blindly follow orders without serious justification, no matter who might be giving them. Are you trying to say that good people are turning on the boss and he's getting rid of them? <laughs> so Petrov's actually a nice guy? People whom the motherland has given everything must have serious reasons for betraying her. But the bloody path Petrov has chosen is unacceptable. A capitalist collaborator. Fuck him. I could not agree more. Yeesh. <sighs> but also, uh, you know. Um. So, what will it be, Major? God damn it. Weapons I, or ability? I just want you to talk dirty to me, that's all. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Come on. What? Jesus. All right, get me in there. Fuck. Son of a bitch. I'm running out of goddamn shit here. Damn it. Fucking fight sequences are so fucking intense, it hurts. Come on. The 
fuck is this? Why is there a fucking lock on the door now? Damn it. I'm trying to find that goddamn head to this fucking bitch. How do I get up there? See if this thing helps. Oh shit. Did it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that did it. How did it help? Jesus Christ. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. <laughs> I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. <sighs> Wolf got off of a plane. He's on a fucking thing at an airport. There's other planes taking off. He fucking gets blown back the other way. And that's where that is. Ah, shit. Fading data. And that doesn't fucking look right. Shit. So, what will it be, Major? <sighs> hmm. Oh. God damn it. What the fuck is going on here? Traveling through a bunch of pipes. You get spit out. What the fuck? Not another one. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. What the fuck? Oh shit. What am I supposed to? Where's the exit? What am I going for? Oh, there it is. Okay. Come on. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? <clears throat> Come on.
Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I get it. Nope. Oh, there. there it is. <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the past turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, flakes raised like some old whore, far gone in passion, the burning, deadly, poison sweating mass. Shut up. Shut up. Yuck. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. Jesus. Gonna make me fucking walk all the way goddamn around. Fucking TV's indestructible. Oh, god damn it, do I need to fucking... <sighs> god, stop stuttering. No! Fucking God. So after Dr. Sechenov created the new gamma connectors, he destroyed the old beta connectors, right? Officially, yes. But the technology used to manufacture the beta connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without him. I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Very curious. That's obviously not the case, though. The fuck? How many of these goddamn cartoons are there? Holy shit. He's on a fucking thing. He's under a goddamn helicopter. Oh, this is... Wait, what the fuck? He gets loaded onto a plane? No. Yes. Yeah. And then he finds his way out. Okay, and then... Yeah, he gets spit out. Ugh, fucking Jesus. Fading data. I have a feeling there's more fighting coming up, and I'm not fucking ready, so... There's plenty of healing shit. Let's put this here. Uh, I'll move this here. Get some ammo up in this bitch. The fuck? And then... Need more ammo for this. going with this. Alright, give me the fuck down there. 
Ah. And of course, of course, of course. Is that the fucking weak spot right there in the middle? God damn, it took me this long to fucking figure that out. Holy shit. What is this? What the fuck? Alright, well, there's a room full of stuff, and if I ever fucking want it, I'll go get it. Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, doesn't shine. Good morning to you. <sighs> All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequence is matched. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Holy shit. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer. An outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. 
Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. What the fuck? Did we just get activated or something? The fuck? Apples? Magnets? What in the hell is happening? Apple pie? That's a lot of fucking apples. What the fuck? There it is. The fuck is that? Shit just fucking get it. Jesus. Why is it not? Find me. The hell is going? Is that the fucking mushroom castle? Oh, God. What is happening here, man? Tanks? That look like mushrooms? Is this a fucking submarine? Fucking missiles going off. Holy shit. Jesus. No! Fuck. Come on. No! Holy shit. No! Oh, fuck. Okay. Come on. Wake up, my love. What the fuck? I didn't get all the apples. What a waste of goddamn time.
P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, fuck. I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov. The government commission... They're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Oh, it's the twins. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? <laughs> Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. That was us. We fucking murdered doing, everyone. Boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident. What the fuck? Uh, yo. What is... That bitch is literally being fisted. Are those the rings? The rings coming? Uh oh. I don't know what that is. But damn. She got that Instagram pose going right now. Fuck. Those keys? Why are they trembling? his form.
I don't know what the fuck that was. What? What was that? A tribute to the departed. We just stood there and watched the whole fucking thing without saying a word. Off. We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? His head was missing. A lot of them. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Falatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Charles, what the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, huh. I was also disabled. Wow. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses huh. after slipping and falling into a bath. Wow. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. Makes you think? P3, you're an absolute fucking moron. Jesus Christ, I need a break.